So we're going to start with positive intervals, negative intervals, and finish with end behavior of this thing. So positive intervals, negative intervals, very nice and easy. You are going to pay attention to what is above the x-axis. So positive intervals are above x-axis. Okay, and negative is below x-axis. So nice and easy. So what I want to do is I just, when I do this part, I like to actually change the color a little bit. So I'm going to take a, the blue part and say, okay, well, there's the x-axis in black. I'm going to say, okay, right above there, those are my positive. That's my positive interval right there. Okay. And then anything that is below that, those are my negatives right there. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and write out those intervals. And what I do to, in order to do that is I check out what's happening on the x-axis. So let me go ahead and click on uh, that point and that point. And so let's do positive. I know that based off of this in blue, that if I go from 0.66 on the x, okay, so if I go 0.66 on the x, to point to 3.33, that, that is my, um, from here to here is my positive. So I'm gonna say, okay, well, let's do this. Let's go 0. 0.667 to 3.33, okay? Um, then I'm gonna go negative intervals, okay? And negative intervals are anything that's below the x-axis. Well, that happens way out here. Remember, I'm gonna write this as negative infinity, that's positive infinity. That happens way out here, and then it stops right there. And then once again, it does the exact same thing. It starts here and it goes way out in that direction, okay? So my negative interval would be, for example, negative infinity to 6.667, okay? Or, that's what that symbol right there means is or, 3.33, um, to, positive infinity. And that would be my positive interval and my negative interval, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna do is the end behavior, and I'm gonna leave that yellow up there to help us with the end behavior, okay? And end behavior has two parts. It's really nice and easy. What we do is we look at as X grows to infinity. So as we go this way, what does the graph do? Okay, if you notice what's happening to this graph, the graph is decreasing. It is decreasing in this one. So as we go to infinity, the graph is going down. So I'm going to say x approaches infinity. That's this statement right here. f of x, which just simply means the graph, it is going to negative infinity. It's decreasing, OK? Um, as, and then we write another statement, we would say, okay, well, okay, so let's go back to that. Let's go as, as X, so this is the first statement, um, as X goes to negative infinity. So as we go this way, what does F of X do? Well, F of X is, or the graph is still going downhill. So I'm gonna put, it is still decreasing as we move out to negative infinity. So I'm gonna put, it goes to negative infinity. And that would be our second end behavior statement. 